Don't drink soda. Wait, hold on. I'm not supposed to say one, right? Mm -hmm. Three, two. Yo, welcome to the Natural Habitat Podcast presents Jerry's Turkey Day Jamboree. Jubilee. Jubilee? Jubilee is what he sent in the email. All right. Turkey Day Jubilee. Um, Jerry, producer of the show. Uh, First of all, I'm Mikey Booya. Yeah, I'm awesome. Ty, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I mean, I'm doing better. Yeah, I mean, now that we're here, now I've had a, like a really awful week, but knowing <laughs> that I'm, I have a hot a hot meal coming, um, mm-hmm. you know, like all the trimmings. Yeah, like a, the a, trimmings. A fat spread, a fat friends giving spread promised to us mm-hmm. by our our producer Jerry. Yeah, which should be here any time. Where yeah, I, he said I, I kind of assumed like it would be ready to go before we started the show. He, he said that he's on his way. He let me know that we can go ahead and start without him, that he would come and he would present the food on the show. Okay. Jerry, longtime producer of the show and just kind of guy that works here. Yeah, he's he's kind of back on like an interim basis after yeah. doing us, you know, wrong by trying to replace us. But he's he's promised to make good today. He's promised mm-hmm. us, again, a Friendsgiving spread with all the trimmings. All the trimmings. All of them. He emphasized real hard on trimmings. Yes. He was talking about all the different. So what do you got? You got... You got mashed potatoes. You got your pumpkin pie. You got your stuffing. You got your gravy. You got your cranberry sauce. You've got your your macaroni and cheese. That's you got kind of like a. I'm expecting mac and cheese. Yeah, mac and cheese. You got yams. Of course, the turkey. You, I mean, I'm I'm picturing like. Well, a, I don't think turkey's trimmings, right? Oh well, I mean, trimmings there's is be like turkey, everything though, right? around it. Like you put the trimmings I mean, on the tree. The you, turkey's the tree. Right, right, but I mean, there's going to be turkey, right? He, I mean, he's not just bringing us just trimmings. Well, like, it is be... called the Turkey Day Jubilee. Yeah. So, so and doesn't Jubilee like? Why did he use? Because I mean, it's, it's Jerry. He's a weird guy. Yeah, he is. But you know, maybe Jamboree is probably taken a lot. Could be. Could by, like, be, yeah. there's probably a lot of Turkey Day Jamborees. Yeah. I mean, so, I try not to question him. He just lost his wife. I mean, yeah. So, like Ty said, Jerry tried to replace us. He had some guys come in for the Halloween episode, which he knew I was looking forward to, and um, tried to do this whole thing. We kicked them out. We brought them back on like a temporary probation. Yeah, I mean, we really period. needed some work done, so we had we kind of had another mm-hmm. option. And we've been kind of on the fence about it, but he, you know, insisted that he wanted to do this Friendsgiving. Yeah, and I figure like if this if this goes well, I mean, he might he might yeah. get some responsibilities back if we know yeah. that we can rely on him for to you know like a, a massive Turkey Day spread with all the all the trimmings. Yeah, this will right many wrongs. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I'm hungry. I'm, for sure. I'm like hangry. Borderline hangry. Yeah. Getting kind of. Absolutely. Um, so this is the Thanksgiving special, as you could tell by our decor or decor. Yes. Depending yeah. on which part of the label you pronounce. I think either are acceptable, either pronunciation. Mm-hmm. So we got our decor out here. We have our scarecrowmen, uh, two scarecrowmen. And these you might recognize from last year's Thanksgiving special. These are recreations sent to us by a fan. Yeah. Apple retweet. It bot. says give thanks on that one. And this one says, what does it say? That says grateful and blessed. Uh, all right. I, I mean, I guess we'll see about that. I mean, mm-hmm. I'll be grateful and feel a little more blessed when, when, you know, the spread is here. Yeah. With all the trimmings. When we get all the trimmings on here, we clear the table. We get, could you imagine this table? Just imagine it filled with trimmings. I, I, I Definitely can. So you I'm got turkey right, right here on the triangle. This pizza slice. Just, I, I mean, like mm-hmm. I'm thinking you're like a 25 pound bird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least. Um, now I my local uh, grocery store is um, is open. Uh, it's open 24 ish hours a day, and they have a uh, a big uh, like industrial rolling tub. Like the kind that a guy would like sneak out of a prison in, like a laundry okay, yeah, tub yeah, yeah. that a guy rolls. Yeah, absolutely. And it's filled with turkeys, and it's kind of just like in the middle of the store, which seems like a breeding ground for bacteria. Yeah, or is it is this like a refrigerated cart? No, it's just hard plastic, and there's no ice in it, and it's just kind of like out. Yeah, I mean, I know chicken can give you salmonella. I would imagine any sort of poultry is probably the same. So. Yeah, and I'm going to say that they're not putting it in the freezer at night. They're no, probably just kind of recycling it. Putting They think if they put cold turkeys on top that it'll like insulate it all. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. So but I think that's it's not just where cooking Jerry the turkeys at the bottom. Got the turkeys from. Do you know where Jerry is getting this food from? I did don't. he prepare it himself? Um, he did say that it was going to be here prepared. 
that he was bringing it all ready to go. It's going to be in foil. Uh, did you did you hear him right now? I thought I thought I heard him. Did someone come in? I thought so, but maybe not. Maybe he should be here any minute. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to have our spread. Then it's going to look so really hungry. Thanksgivingy in here when yeah. we have all the stuff. We got the spread. We got the tablecloth. We got the candles. It's going to be great. Some ASMR eating, where you can just listen to us <laughs> chew. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, and we, a lot of people know by now, a lot of listeners know that we're on our road to 1K. Um, this is trying to gain 1,000 YouTube followers, subscribers. Um, yeah, so we can monetize the channel and become internet yeah. millionaires. Or 1,000 accounts subscribing to our channel. Is yeah, a it doesn't have to, to be 1,000 individual subscribers, just 1,000 no. accounts, I think. I mean, we could have, you know, 250 subscribers that each have four, four accounts. accounts. Yeah. Boom, it's done. It's all the it's same over. to us. We just want the money. Yeah. So we're trying to gain our monetization. We've been on this road to 1K. And since we've embarked on this road, we have gained one. One sub, one fucking subscriber. One? Dude, one. Should you do a recount on that? Uh, Yeah, hold on. Let me go ahead and pull this up right here. I mean, so I get our YouTube current stats. Here, I'm going to do a pull down. Sure I'm going to do know, a refresh. Check the margin of error. One, dude. We have one subscriber. And we've been asking since for... Since we started. We've been asking for like three weeks, like it's everywhere. Been a, it's been a while, yeah. Like I even posted like a, a sob story on my Instagram stories. We've like, been having... Okay. We hired a designer to make us flyers, to make us videos, to make us artwork, to do this whole... We had the whole Road to 1K flyer. You think we just do that together? Like we had to pay. It seems like nothing works. We had to go out and get a spokesperson yeah. to, to make like a commercial. We because, got I mean, Bob spokes. Obviously, like our faces and voices aren't doing it for you. So we went out and we, we got a ringer, a professional yeah. spokesman. And um, he's going to hopefully entice you to well, actually no, No, he's. He's going to um, entice you to call the hotline and then the hotline will entice you to subscribe to the YouTube, I think. Right. Yeah. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I think so. OK. Here, let me. Uh, yeah. Oh, first of all, let's introduce Computer. Computer, how you doing? This is our, our co-host, Com Computor. Computer, why don't you sing a, a nice Thanksgiving rap? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Computer, how are you? I'm feeling like butter because I'm on a roll. Damn. I just wrote a cornucopia of Thanksgiving jokes to gobble-gobble on. Okay. Co all right. Computer, do you, do you have a Thanksgiving song you could sing for us? He doesn't like uh, he doesn't like taking commands from you. I guess maybe he's like snubbing you for whatever reason. Yeah, we are the only podcast with a artificially intelligent co-host. That's computer, and he doesn't want to listen to Ty for whatever reason. No. And anytime that Ty tries to ask him questions or get him involved, he just acts like disrespectful. He didn't say anything. But um, he is here. He's joining us. He has a whole cornucopia of Thanksgiving laughs or something. But uh, computer. Sing a Thanksgiving rap. The table is all laden with corn and casserole. Ooh, that's about Woo! to be our table. By the fire while outside it's getting cold. Friends and family sitting around doing what they do best. Eating taters, eating stuffing, and eating all the rest. There's sauce made from cranberries and a basket of warm buns. Somehow there's three pumpkin pies, but that makes four more fun. All right, he's the losing it. They say is gravy. What's the main event to be? When I said gobble, gobble, I sure did not mean me. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Bars, bars. He's got Christmas bars. Uh, Thanksgiving bars. Oh, yeah. But, Sorry. Uh, hopefully he has some <laughs> Christmas bars in store for us. I'm jumping the gun. It did have so sort of a Christmas sound to Computer, it. Computer, sing a, a, a Christmas rap. Hey, Rudolph, drop the beer. <coughs> it's the night before Christmas and you're jingling through the house. Nope. Computer, stop. Computer, computer, com computer save it for a few stop. weeks, okay? God. Computer, computer, stop. Computer, Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Computer, stop. Here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. We're, we need to take a quick break. I I think I heard someone downstairs. So I'm oh, that go. better be Jerry. Computer's pissing me off. Like, I'm, I'm really getting hungry. And this, I mean, this could go off the rails mm -hmm. real quick if so, we don't get some food in us. We're going to be right back with a quick word from Bob Spokesman. He's got a message for everyone. Hey, hey folks. folks. 
Bob Spokesman here, and boy do I have some exciting news for you. And this time, I promise nobody is losing their pension, okay? Ha 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 ha. Now it's beginning to look like the internet is here to stay, but with all the streaming and the scheming it can be a frightening place, especially for us seniors. Well, what if I told you that you could get not just all the best happenings from the World Wide Web, but some news and information too controversial and real for even the web, just by calling this number toll free from anywhere in America? It's called the Natural Habitat Party Chat Hotline. 1-805-900-7301. It's uncensored, unbiased, and unorthodox, and best of all, no goddamn algorithms. You're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. All they ask is that you sound off in the voicemail and leave them a shout out. This is no Ponzi scheme like last time, folks. Or my name isn't Bob Spokesman. Call now. Thank you, Bob Spokesman. That was, I mean, very articulate and very professional. I feel like he delivered that a lot better than we we have been. Yeah, he really did. We had to. That'll bring up an uptick in, in calls to the, uh-huh. the party hotline, and then you know, like that'll that'll transfer over to the YouTube channel, and we'll get some some subscribers. Because yeah. as it turns out, we may not be the only ones on this this lonely road to one K. Yeah. We go on this road to one K, and immediately we uh, run into someone. We're posting about this. We're saying, "Hey, we're on the road to one K. Here we go." And then this guy comments on it, and he goes, "Yo, I'm on the same road as you guys. Road to one K." You should you should follow me. Yeah, and there's only so much room on this road. So like he's you mm-hmm. know kind of I mean I, I hate to say he's getting in our way, but yeah. I mean only so many people can get to 1,000 subscribers yeah. on YouTube. We can't go and, side by side. We have to do single file. Right. And he you know, wants to be in the front. Like I'm picturing like a traffic jam type situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're we're both trying to get to to 1K and something's got to give. So and his first mistake was that he did not subscribe to us. So he didn't? No. He wasn't the one he's, the one new subscriber. No, this he's week? asking us oh, shit. to subscribe, but he is not subscribing to us. So what's this dude's deal? Like what I mean, he seems to be of of I guess Sri Lankan descent. Uh yeah, so he's, he's he's from Sri Lanka. Which is cool, I guess. I mean, I I don't know much about Sri Lanka, but it seems I. like a nice place. He's on the road to one K, one thousand YouTube subscribers. Right now he's sitting at fifty seven. 57 so that's not a lot but he's also much newer to the game than we are i mean like we have you know almost 400 but i mean this guy's channel is he has one video 12 days ago 12 days ago so Mm -hmm. 57 so maybe actually you know what something to talk about i'll cut this out maybe we could hit this guy up he has some sort of like he obviously builds channels in like a weird way you know like uh suspiciously so maybe we could hit him up. He could help us get some subs, you know? Yeah, that might be worth doing. So he has a video here um, that, I mean, we'll we'll watch a little bit of. Yeah, you know, it's. I think it goes with the, the Turkey Day Jubilee theme. Okay. So, um, so this is in... Um, what the language that they speak in Sri Lanka? Sri Lankan, yeah. Sri Lankan? Uh, Is that a language? I don't think they have their own language. So, um, from what I gather in this video, you know, this guy, he's bringing this guy lunch every day. Uh, he kind of works in the office. You know, he's the, the personal, yeah, he's uh, like, he's like this guy's Jerry. Yeah. He's the Jerry, you know, he's bringing food. Right. And, um, he forgets his spoon one day, goes to bring it back, and sees Jerry. This guy's going to town on his leftovers. Yeah. Um, just, just mowing him down. Um, you know, he's not using any sort of utensils. He's just, just eating that rice with his hands like a, like a, you know, like a Jerry. Like a Jerry. So the next time he goes to pick up his food, he finds this... Um, the the food is eaten directly in half, lined down the middle. So just a healthy portion left for for this guy yeah. to eat. That's very generous, and that's kind of 
you know, along the lines of how we've been treating Jerry. Very, you know, very generous, always very sharing generous. with Jerry, always giving him, you know, just as much as we take for ourselves. Mm-hmm. So I, I see the parallels here. So um, he leaves this uh, this food for this guy, kind of gives everything. Do you hear him? Is something going on out there? Uh, I just, I mean, I'm expecting to see him walk in any minute with the, <laughs> the big tray with the, the turkey. Yeah. I mean, I imagine he's going to need like a couple assistants too because, I mean, he can't just carry all that food in by himself. So No, but I'm sure that he'll, I mean, he said that he had it taken care of, so we'll let him yeah. do it. Um, so Patham Lakana Vilochala, he is... Um, He's a good guy. He's a, he appears to be like him, a, like a monk, like? a Tibetan monk, perhaps, of some sort. Yeah. Um, you know, very probably peaceful. And um, it's unfortunate that, that, you know, we see no other alternative but to challenge him to an MMA fight, which yeah. is a thing that YouTubers yeah, do, yeah. right? Yeah, MMA like fights we, are MMA big fights. right now. Like all the YouTubers, you know, you got your Jake Pauls and your S- SK... SKW? Uh, SK, is that a guy? I, I CM like it Punk? Is. See, yeah, they're you know, they're, oh, they're, they're KSI, fight, KSI, yeah. yeah, they're fighting each other. Um, they're going to Abu Dhabi and they're they're having these big uh, pay per view fights yeah, with one yeah, another. Yeah. So um, we're laying down the challenge right mm-hmm. now to this cat. And, yeah, um, we have we have a representative, a guy that says that he works with Moment House, and he said that they'll be able to stream the fight for us. And we could do. You can either bring you know another monk that you have. We could or, do like a tag team thing. Yeah, or we could do two on one. Two on one, yeah. Maybe. Or, I mean, if he really wants to pick one of us and go one on one, I guess that's an and option. The other one could be the coach or whatever, yeah, like in yeah. the corner. However, you want to do it, but we're going to need two, maybe three months to, you know, get in the gym and train for this guy. Cause he, I yeah, I mean, we can't see what's going on under his robe, but he might be, mm-hmm. you know, he might be kind of swole. And yeah. I, I mean, like, that my, is misleading. My, my physical shape right now is just, is not up to MMA <laughs> standards. Mm-hmm. So I do need some gym time, but you know what? The challenge has been laid. Um, you know, we're not putting down any money on this fight, so it is, you know, gonna be, you know, um, well, charities, charities are gonna put up money that will go into a purse to us that the winner will get the oh, purse. Okay, okay yeah. yeah, I like that even more. So that's gonna be exciting. Um, so right now, um, Pat- Patnam, Patham, Patham. I'm assuming you're watching this because yeah. you, you found us somehow. Mm-hmm. So um, the challenge has been laid down. Get back to us. Sound off in the comments and let us know if you accept the challenge yeah. and what your terms are. And we'll we'll go ahead and have our people mm-hmm. set this thing up. And truth be told, like that's gonna be big for both of us on the road to one k. You yeah. know, yeah. that'll get a lot of eyes on us. We'll get. The I mean, charities between to Bob Spokesman doing his thing and the MMA fight, I feel mm-hmm. like these might be the catalysts for us, you know, like making yeah. some progress at least on this road. Cause it's been rough, man. Yeah, it really has. It really has. Um, so, uh, while we're waiting for Jerry to get here with this friends giving meal, I think that we should reach out to our live listeners that are listening live now and ask them what they're thankful for. Ask yeah, you guys what you're thankful definitely, for. Definitely. Cause I mean, we're running out of ideas mm-hmm. and things to be thankful for ourselves, especially without this food. I'm really getting, you know, like, what's the opposite of thankful? Um, Computer, what's the opposite of thankful? Antonyms for thankful meaning appreciated include thankless, critical, or unthankful. Okay, uh, yeah, unthankful. I'm really <laughs> getting unthankful here. <laughs> I'm really feeling unthankful. Yeah, that would be the opposite of thankful. Fuck, dude, I'm glad that you had that alarm set. Whew, that would have not been good. <laughs> <laughs> not been good after today. Um, so we, uh, we want to reach out to our listeners, people that are listening live now, you guys pull out your phones, call the hotline, uh, give access to your cameras and then we'll be able to add you to the call right now. So let's see who is out Just, uh, here. The, the number of course is one eight Oh five, nine hundred seventy three Oh one. Um, That's kids right. get your parents permission before calling uh-huh. may not be toll free. Most likely though. I'm probably we don't we just don't know. Hey, bud, how you doing? Hey, what are you thankful for? Thank you for. Li- oh wait, I gotta turn them up. Dude. Of course. All right. Um, everybody out there listening, we got forty thousand strong online right now. Oh, okay, so, yeah, forty thousand um, live listeners. That's dope. I like that. Let's see. Uh, let's start this up. Uh, stand with Hong. Hey, thank you for listening to the Natural Habitat Podcast. What are you thankful for? 
Have you subscribed to the YouTube yet? Yeah, just go over to youtube.com slash natural habitat podcast and so uh, we can we can hear. We can now, hear. We, her. we have to be mindful that we do have a number of international listeners and perhaps they don't celebrate Thanksgiving in, in whatever country they're they're reaching out to us from. So. Oh. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, let's get one more listener out here. Thank. Um, I mean, seriously, you guys are out here. We want to know what you're thankful for. Go ahead and drop a line on the hotline. Hey, beautiful, beautiful location. What are you thankful for? The bushes. Thankful. It is a like a mango. It's like a mango. Oh, okay. Thankful for mangoes. Yeah. Fruit. Right, cool. Fruit. Yeah, that, hopefully there's like a nice yes. fruit salad that a, Jerry uh, brings. It is a, uh, uh, it is a uh, good for its stomach. Okay. Awesome. Now, do you know if Jerry's on his way? Sorry? Is Jerry coming soon? <laughs> Thank yeah. you for listening to the Natural Hab. Um... Anybody else out there want to let us know? We'll give it just a couple more minutes, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and move on from this. Um, one more out here. Come on. Come on. Uh, stand with Hong Kong against CCP. That's been big in our chat for whatever reason, ever since yeah, we started doing this. Again, um, I'm not sure why, but I stand with Hong Kong. Hey. Hey, what are you thankful for? Um, all right, I guess this isn't working out. This is this whole episode's kind of just deteriorating, especially with Jerry, with Jerry I, not showing up. Like seriously, like I would have made other dinner plans. Like I told, I told people that I couldn't have dinner with them because you know we were having the spread with all the trimmings. Well, he's. Uh, I'm sure that he'll be here, dude. It's like he's just running a little bit late. You know, he told us to start. He'd be here in 15 minutes. It's been 25 minutes. So does he text you? Uh, no, he hasn't. But I'm sure he will soon. You know. Yeah. I mean, my patience is running thin. Um, I mean, because this really is like a make or break thing. Yeah. For Jim. Yeah, and it's not like we asked him to do this. Like he he emails us and is like, "Hey guys, Turkey Jubilee, all on me." Um, you know, massive turkey day spread with all the trimmings. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm, I'm grateful for you guys. And I want to, you know, sh this is a make good. You yeah. specifically said this is a make good for, for my shenanigans in the past. And, I mean, like, has he made good with you so far? No. No, he hasn't. Has he made good with you? And this is like a make bad. It, <laughs> it's a make worse. It's yeah, definitely it's, a make worse. Um, so... Uh, Thanksgiving, this is what, this is like, uh, a couple days away from Thanksgiving, possibly on Thanksgiving, depending on when this, uh, gets released. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be Friendsgiving, you know, you have like the, the slightly less formal dinner with your friends mm -hmm. and your, your colleagues. And I mean, you know, we decorated the place. We, we made sure that, you know, it was nice and ambiance and, um, is that, is that a word? Did I use that right? Ambiance? Is it ambient? Nice, nice ambient, ambient environment ambient. here. We got we got these scarecrows. These scarecrows, you know, they didn't, they weren't free. No, but you know what is uh, missing here? It's a beautiful uh, twenty five pound turkey. <laughs> it really is. These scarecrows weren't free. They weren't a dollar either. I mean, he said all the all the trimmings, and I see no trimmings. Yeah, there's no trimmings yet. No spread. No bird. But uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so I think that, um, there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to be listening or watching this episode after Thanksgiving and it's not quite Christmas yet, but it's also not Thanksgiving anymore. So I was thinking that we do a post Thanksgiving segment of the show that is, um, non Thanksgiving themed. Yeah, that's probably for the best considering we have no... Because people are here, they're like, oh, I already dealt with Thanksgiving, and now here I yeah, am, it's a week put it after Thanksgiving, you want to put it in the past. So we should... Um, they're, they're moving on to Black Friday. 
Oh, that's a great you got, idea. You got Black Friday coming Black up. Black Friday. There's are deals. you planning on buying? Are you taking advantage of any of these hot deals? Um, I am. I actually am going to be taking advantage of a hot deal. Uh, I was thinking about trying to um snatch somebody's phone from like a gym or like a like a hotel pool or something. Oh, you're talking about stealing, stealing, and okay. then use their Amazon account Ooh. to get a bunch of stuff mailed to like an abandoned building. So you're you're like it's like inception levels of stealing. First you're going to steal a phone so you could steal other things. So I can steal from the Amazon. Phone. Okay. Then I'm going to get them delivered somewhere else and then I'm going to steal them from that place. Oh man, I like where this is going. And I have this whole thing that I want to try to do where I like buy a bunch of different things off a bunch of different accounts and it's like a VPN so like they can't track me. Because I'm like buying things off of this wish list and I'm sending gift cards to over here and I got a Swiss bank account. Yeah, keeping track of all that logistical nightmare. They're not even yeah. going to bother. They're just going to be like, you know what? This is just too much work. I can't keep track of all this guy's moves. He's a, uh-huh. he's a mover and a shaker. Um. Oh, I actually do have a, I have a list here of the, um, our, our, uh, fucking slogans that we got from the uh the ai the artificial intelligence yeah and i was thinking that you know none of these are some of these jump out a little bit none of them are great but we have our new name for our listeners the habit rats the habit rats and then we need uh we're having the algorithm load up our new logo right now and in the meantime we also need a new tagline like a new slogan right now it's Better than drugs, but even better on drugs. And see, so, yeah, like I'm no longer on drugs anymore. Yeah, you're not on drugs. I mean, we probably shouldn't here. say drugs twice no, in the tagline. Yeah, it's just not. It's not. Um, it's not 2023 worthy. <laughs> no. So um, we have this, especially with with the death penalty coming for drug dealers. Like we probably want to distance ourselves from from you know anything related to that because I don't want to end up you know, like shot by Trump's firing squad. Yeah. 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 Um, I think it's far enough in to talk about that too. I mean, I don't know if we'll get flagged for any Trump talk now, but Trump is talking about, I guess we talked about on the hotline though. Yeah. Call yeah. the hotline. Call to the hear hotline. Our hear take it. on Trump. Trump the is death penalty. Trump is dealers. wilding. So call one eight Oh five nine hundred seventy three Oh one and get, get a scalding hot take. on. Yeah. That. We actually give a prediction also. The a Nostradamus like yeah. prediction fortuitous. So we have our slogans here. Uh, I just wanted to throw these out, throw them in the pool, get them out there, get them working, see if anybody likes them. Put see them into the they, universe. They, yeah, know? yeah. Sound off below and let us know which one of these uh, we should keep it, or whether we should abandon them all yeah. and try doing it with our own brains. So we have uh, Natural Habitat podcast, never knowingly funny. I mean, I don't think that's true. I don't think that rings true. I think that sometimes we're knowingly funny. Sometimes we say some stuff yeah. we know I feel it's like funny. That's disparaging, we, really. Are these all going to be like like pot shots at us? I hope not. Um, one podcast is better than two of something else. No, I don't agree with that either. I feel like um, any two podcasts are probably better than just this singular one. Well, no, because it's something else. It can't be another podcast. It has to be. Something that's not a podcast. I mean, really, any two things are probably... probably yeah, any two things this. would be better than... A, I could do without a podcast, yeah. for sure. Um, Natural Habitat Podcast. It's actually cool. Yeah. Now, that seems like a stab, too. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I mean, when you say you're cool and like be like, actually yeah. cool, like that, then you're just absolutely not. Saying so it's, it's actually cool is like saying, look, we know that it doesn't look cool, but it actually is. Which but then mean, saying it is makes it not cool again. It wraps just back any around. reference to us being cool in the tagline is probably yeah. probably bad news. <clears throat> um, if you've got the time, we've got the habitat. Nope. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> you deserve a habitat today. <laughs> now that one's that one sounds like it was made by an algorithm for sure. Yeah. Um, they're really they're really running with the habitat thing, huh? But I'd rather have a bowl of habit rats. No, that's like a... I don't think we should 
we should move into having sex with our listeners and our subscribers. That's one thing that you don't have to worry about if you're going to subscribe to our YouTube or follow us on Instagram. We're not going to we're not going to DM you. We're not going to. Oh, I might. <laughs> Uh, well, we we aren't collectively. Oh yes, yeah. You just it's not going to be yes. both of us in there individually. I mean, yeah. Um, actually, funny sidebar. I won't. I'll tell you who it is afterwards. But I don't want to. I don't want to dox it on the show. But one of them is um, within the Natural Habitat Podcast universe, and the other one is a person that you know we both know. And I got two Snapchat videos last night back to back independently by these two people, right? One comes in. One comes in. Bloop. Snapchat video. Like two minutes later, another one comes in from a different person. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, what a coincidence, you know? A quinky dink. Quinky dink. So I check them out and it's uh it's this guy and this girl who are, you know, acquaintances, know each other, but they're like laying in bed, uh, drunk, looks like they just had sex. And they, for some reason, brought me into it because they were listening to like some old ICP song. And they were all like, look at this, man. Mikey would like this. Oh, it wasn't and, even podcast related. And sent me a bunch of videos. It wasn't it wasn't a video of them subscribing to the YouTube. <sighs> no, it really should have been. Actually actually the video did show YouTube. So they were even on there. They could have done it. Yeah, they really could have. But one of these people I'm sure that they're already subscribed five or six times. Yeah. But um what was I now what was I saying right before I started telling this story? Cause that's whatever reminded me of this. Um snap Snapchat. Um, we oh we we won't solicit sex from any oh, of our yeah, subscribers. Yeah, yeah. We won't do that. But that's what I was saying that they hit me up as a group together. So we will never do that to our listeners. Right. We won't come in. I bet I could guess who this was. Both of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, we uh, we uh, and why was I saying that we weren't gonna fuck our subscribers? Oh. <laughs> Slogans, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is why you don't Duh. smoke weed on the podcast anymore. Um, Ding dong, podcast calling. Now, I like that. That's that's it? I mean, that's that's, that's the front runner for sure. Natural Habitat podcast. Ding dong, podcast calling. Okay. Um, then this next one I like. Business, or uh, it's business unusual. Which, instead of business as usual, which is a common expression, usual, yeah, business unusual. Okay, it's business unusual. It's not your, uh, not your average. This isn't your podcast. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a little crazy, a little different, a little, a little wacky, a little wacky. Which I think uh, I want to do something called that. Something called it's business unusual. That would be like a cool, like little YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, series, a little short series, or like a little, little short show. Just you, you tailor the series around this, this. So what did it? Yeah, around the name. You come up with the name first, <laughs> and then you do a series that's like I'll talk about business, like things in the business section of like Google News. But I'm not a guy that went to school for business or knows anything. No, you're about just business a, you're, you're Joe Joe Schmo. Jo, I'm just a Joe a Joe Dierte, you know, and I will give my take on it based on my. Limited um, understanding of the. I wouldn't even itself. say limited. What's less than limited? Right, right. Just um, very, mm -hmm. very minimal. And then uh, that I think that could blow up. You know, maybe TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Nice. TikTok. I like it. I like. It. Um, and then uh, the last one. Natural Habitat podcast got a podcast. You're in luck. So that has a question in there that I think they're supposed to answer. So you put a pause. Got a podcast? And they say no. Which know. they would say yes. I feel like they... I'd be more receptive to all of these if I had like a, a full stomach with, you know, Thanksgiving <laughs> trimmings. Yeah, that's not helping, gravy. right? I mean, gravy. I was really looking forward to some gravy. and There is nothing here. This is like kind of ridiculous. Jerry knows exactly what fucking time we podcast every week. Yeah. I mean, he. I mean, he's the the producer. He's not producing anything, let alone a fucking delicious Thanksgiving uh, turkey jubilee spread with all the trimmings. It's yeah. kind of. 
Uh, like, I, I don't know. Like maybe we really need to reevaluate so Jerry's status here, with look, the show. The last is, the last time that Jerry was here, when he was in the bathroom, I took his phone and I I added him to my uh, my find my phone thing. Now that I have iPhone, I added him to my find my phone family, so you can track him. So I could track him, and I could actually look at where he is right now. I didn't oh, okay. want to invade his privacy. I think it's, we're, you know, I think it's um, fair game now. You think because, so? Yeah, because I'm I'm starving, and he, you know, he promised us a meal. Like how how disrespectful is that to promise your friends a uh, uh, turkey jubilee with with all the trimmings, all you know, the whole spread, rolls, gravy, cranberry sauce, and none of it's here. Not a goddamn thing. I mean, what are we supposed to eat these decorations? This is bullshit. Dude, he's like a he's like a half hour away in some neighborhood. Fucking serious. He's like out in the I zoomed all the way in. He's like out in the street in this neighborhood in Paso. What the fuck? This is bullshit. Isn't that right? Where did that guy Toddford live? Toddman. I don't know. Toddman? Idea. It was like um, on sixth, right? I thought he said he was from Wyoming. Yeah, but he moved here. And oh, that's how well, he likes, he's that's he's how like he... living with with Jerry's ex with with Shandy or, or Barbara. Or but whatever. we gave him we we paid for his ride, his Uber home. And I remember that's how we found out that this all was going oh, down because yeah. I got the notification. And I think it I think it looks like Jerry's at He's at Todd's. He's at Todman's with his wife or his ex wife. And probably that that Elvin guy too, Elvis. Do you think that he's trying to use this Thanksgiving spread that we paid f- that he paid for this with the company credit card? This isn't like wait. So so in a roundabout way, we paid for the whole thing. Yeah, and or it's not even here. Do you think that he's using it to try to win his wife back, or try to win over Toddford and get like a three way relationship going on? Like my my mind can't think straight because I'm so fucking hungry and I'm just getting really agitated and it's computer. Call call Jerry. Calling Jerry's home. Computer, stop. <laughs> I do you do not want to call this house, dude. We need to call a cell phone, okay? <laughs> um Let's see. I'm actually, I actually am going to call Jerry right now. I mean, I guess we could also call the supermarkets and see if like somebody fitting Jerry's description has been through in the past, you know, hour picking up a hot, ready turkey dinner. Jerry, is it Jerry? Um, where it says on Find My Phone that you are in Paso and you're supposed to be here with the Thanksgiving dinner. Did, you did all you the even trimmings? Make... There's no trimmings here. Not a fucking one. He fucking hung up. This is bullshit, man. <sighs> so, do are we even going to go over our list of things that we're thankful for, or what? I'm not thankful for a goddamn thing right now, yeah. honestly. I hope everybody else's Thanksgiving is a lot better than ours, and yeah. I'm hoping that like my actual Thanksgiving um, is is substantially better than this because my friend's giving has been ruined by somebody who's apparently not my friend and possibly not my producer anymore. Because like, I mean, I don't know how you how you undo this, Jerry. How do you undo this? How do you how do you make good on a, a missed make good? I don't know, man. I don't even know what to say. We'll see you next week.